Well, hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are once again going to be looking at how to find the angle measurements within a geometric figure. I'm on page 218 in my math journal, volume 2, uh, unit 6, lesson 11, finding angle measures. Let's read the instructions. It says, find the unknown angle measures in problems 1 through 5. Do not use a protractor. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Wasman. How am I supposed to find the measure of an angle without a protractor? Magic? Well, no, you're not going to use magic. You're going to use math. And how, pray tell, do you use math to find the measure of an angle? Well, we're going to use our understanding of fact families, addition and subtraction. Okay. So, for example, this first angle, as you can see, is a 90 degree angle because you see that little square corner like so so I know that the entire measure of this angle is 90 degrees now within this 90 degree right angle I've split it into two parts and one of those parts is 45 degrees okay so in order for me to find the measure of the other angle, I don't need to break out a protractor. I just need to use a little math, okay? So I'm going to create an equation that allows me to figure out the difference in the angle. So now if I start with a 90 degree angle and I subtract my known amount, 45 degrees, I'm going to be left with an unknown, which is C, okay? Now... Some of you might already be guessing, hey, I know that uh, 45 plus 45 gives me 90, okay? Or 45 times 2 is 90, and you would be correct. But just to uh, prove that it is correct, let me set up my subtraction problem vertically, okay? So I can't take 5 away from 0, so I have to borrow a 10, making my 9 tens into 8 tens and making my zero ones into ten ones. So 90 has been transformed into 80 and 10. Okay, so now I can subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay? Now, if I really wasn't sure if that was true, I could just add my other number to my difference, and that would show that, indeed, 90 minus 45 is 45. So that is my missing measurement. It's 45 degrees. So I didn't need to measure the angle per se. I just had to know the measurement of the other angle that was next to it. Okay? Let's take a look at problem number three, shall we? This one is not a right angle, but it is part of a 180-degree uh, straight angle because this line that you see along the base right here if it were treated as an angle like so this measurement would be 180 degrees or half the uh, circumference around a circle so just like I did with my first problem number one I'm going to create a subtraction problem 180 degrees that little floaty circle right there is the degree mark, in case you didn't know. And I'm going to subtract the known measurement, which is 60 degrees. So 180 minus 60 equals something, which we're going to represent as y for the time being. Now again, I just need to do a little subtraction. 180 minus 60. Well, when I'm subtracting numbers that are in the tens, and those tens are... Uh, ended in zeros, I can just ignore those zeros for a hot minute. And I'm just subtracting 18 minus 6. Well, 8 minus 6, of course, is 2. And 1 minus nothing is 1, so that gives me 12. 12 what? 12 tens, otherwise known as 120. So my answer in degrees is going to be 120 degrees. That's my difference. Pretty easy, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. For some of you, this might be downright confusing. If that is you, then uh, you need to talk to your math teacher. Whether I'm your math teacher or if someone else is your math teacher, uh, if this video isn't doing it for you, then you need to talk to a real-life person.
Okay? We can't guess if you're confused unless you tell us. So please, tell us. I hope that the, this video was helpful in some way to you all in helping you get this uh, assignment done. Uh, until we speak again, friends, have a good day and good luck. Thanks.